What's up guys? I am here with the ladies van inside their van right now. We're gonna do a tour of it right now. I got Lacey and Bree right behind me. Hey. <laughs> There's so much fun. Wait till you see their van. We're gonna do it right now. Here we go. The power step. <laughs> Opens and closes with the door. So we decided to put in the power step because we wanted to have this this space right here for our shoes. Mm -hmm. You see, I have these right here so we can just stuff them in there. So the outside of your van, uh, what's the wheelbase on your, your Transit? This is a 148 Transit, which is the longest wheelbase at this point, but it's extended on the back. So, okay. Uh, there's the 148 and then the 148 extended, and this is a dually. So it's got the two tires on each side in the back. And then you have this awesome roof rack, which is made by Alumnus, right? Yep. Am I saying that correctly? Yep. We have the perforated like uh, base up there so that we can step up there. Okay, I'm up here with Lacey right now. And by the way, guys, I'm scared of heights. <laughs> I got your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch you. Um, this is their solar panels and this is their roof rack. This is like, Illumis does great work, huh? This is our plug for shore power. Genius. And we've decided to make it just one of these so we don't have to have a special extension or adapter for it. Oh, you can just plug a regular one in. Yeah. Um, and then we have over here for your fill. our water fill. Now this is cool because when it gets full, it'll just start spitting out mm. this right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so if you overfill it, it, it just goes on the goes on your van. It's not a big deal. <laughs> and then that's just uh, the vent for our composting toilet. So easy. Um, for you that don't have swivel seats, I highly recommend swivel seats. <laughs> oh yeah. What Bree just did. It opens up so much oh, yeah. space in the van. So what Lacey likes to say is she gets to watch me cook for her. <laughs> we designed this so that we could have a lot of things in one. Number one, on this side, you'll notice the Ford Transit curves a lot this way. Uh, so what we decided to do with this curve instead of making an awkward cabinet is do a sideways cabinet and it's our little broom closet. So right now we have our skis and snowboard in there. That's so cool. But during summer we'll have a broom and we use these little magnetic locks they're actually really great so you don't have to i mean like when you're driving your cabinet's not just gonna fly open whoa yeah so if you close it right. take this off it won't open where'd you get those home depot got a drawer right here this is currently all our like snow gloves and stuff like that and then we have our toilet in here, which we didn't dump before this. <laughs> we don't have to, oh, uh, is it the, um, is it the air head or is it the nature's head? Nature's head. Okay, so yeah. it's a compost thing. It is a composting toilet. Uh, we have heard some negative things about the air head, so we decided to go with nature's head and we don't okay. have any negative feedback on it at all. I was really against composting toilets at first because I thought it was disgusting, but right. it's ended up to be like one of the best things we've decided to do. Yeah. We used to have one of the canister toilets and That's what this I is have. just so much more. Yeah. It so lasts a lot longer. Now I sit here and watch her cook. Which Moving on into the kitchen. This is our truck fridge. We have a little fridge freezer in here for tamales Ooh, and sometimes you can fit a Ben and Jerry's ice cream if you take a bite and then squish it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we always take bites out of our Ben and Jerry's right away. Uh, this is a place that we are storing our cutting board and our induction stovetop right now. Love it. And then we have this cabinet here where we're putting our toothbrushes in because you can't make a full drawer mm -hmm. because of the sink. So we wanted to make some sort of cabinet for that. And then down here we have a safe. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So you can't really even tell. It looks like a toe kick or something. Right. But we have our safe down in here. Way to show off you guys a security system. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have the magnet? In here is our under the sink. So we currently have a gray water, um, five gallon gray water under here, but our goal, and then we have a water heater as well. Mm. Our goal is to put the gray water mounted underneath the van. Okay. Yeah. So that's next step. 
Where's your fresh water? Fresh water is currently mounted under the van. Okay, cool. We How many gallons is that? So this is 30. 30 gallons? 30 cool. gallons, yeah. Very nice. We have Oh, look at the little, the little pup lights. Yeah. And it's this side. We, our first build didn't have drawers. So this was something that we, that is a lifesaver for us. So we have all of our camera gear and then we have clothes. It helps a lot to have the closet and the drawers. Because mm. before all of our stuff was just stuffed into benches. <laughs> right. <laughs> or under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's where we keep all of our pots and pans. These are the um, latches that actually. Oh, there you go. Those are the magnetic child safe latches. And then this is where we keep our shoes and our buddy heater right now. Moving over here, I guess, to the cabinetry. We wanted extended cabinetry all the way to the back and they built something for it. They built it in a way where we could keep long things in here. When you say they over. built it, I'm pretty sure you built it. Well, we designed it with our team, but our SE Camper Vans team actually built this van. So this is one of our most updated vans that we've ever built. This is what you get with SD Camper Vans, guys. So there is no blockade all the way down, so we could actually put snowboards and skis or long any long things oh, up in here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, really nice. that's really smart. So we have a shiplap ceiling and dimming lights here. I did, I was playing with that earlier. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> we have two fans, one here and one right behind you because we like the we like the way we push one in and one goes out it kind of makes that cross breeze mm -hmm. plus you have the one fan for when you cook and then the other one if it's hot at night you yeah have it right over we there. liked the passenger van because we really liked all the windows so even if we're inside we get to experience what's outside absolutely i like it i love it this is our lagoon table that swivels Lagoon, shout out to them. They are huge in the van life community, uh, marine community. Yeah, people really like this tabletop. They can go up, down, swivel back and forth. And then I even like to twist it this way for game night. We used to have the telescoping table that went up and down, but we like this one because we can put, we can walk all the way through now, mm -hmm. or we can put our bikes in. Absolutely. So obviously that table folds down. It makes the bed. It does make the bed. Now yeah. I'll show you how to do that. So now we're at the back of the van, or at least I am, and uh, I'm outside, and I believe Lacey's gonna show us? Yeah, well, Brand's gonna help me, because it's a two-person job. You but can't do it with one person, it's just easier. We're converting- better on camera with two people. There you go. <laughs> we're, so we're converting the table into the bed right now? Yes. Okay. And, and by the way, you can definitely do this while the doors are shut in the back. We're just doing this with the doors open to show it a little easier, yeah. if, I, if I'm right, right? Correct. Yes. Right, so you just set these down, and we have these little boards. So if you make the table as long as the bed, it's really inconvenient because then you can't like just scoot in, and you don't have much extra room. So we built these extra boards uh, for convenience. Push. There we go, uh, and then you just take these on top you make sure they're extra tight so you don't feel a gap in between them when you're sleeping mm -hmm. and that's it and that's it there's your bed and the size of this bed is actually really big yeah you have a six foot bed it can fit it can fit 15 people comfortably it can fit 15 <laughs> yeah one five yeah, yeah that sounds about right <laughs> <laughs> we used to have a five foot bed and a five foot bed in a transit is fine for someone who's like five foot six okay <laughs> um and and we're five foot six so it works for us the reason we decided to do a six foot bed is because we wanted to be able to fit extra people for dinner and things like that we yeah. really love having people over in the van so so you can fit like when it's up as a table you can fit three on each side pretty comfortably yes. four four yeah wow i that's... mean four a little squished three super three comfortable comfortably. right yeah that's pretty awesome but then someone's standing and someone's in the swivel, Those swivel seat. seats you can yep. you're this is a this is an entertainment van yeah it is plus if we ever want to sell this van uh it has a six foot bed so someone who's taller right absolutely uh oh are we, are we smelling selling in the future 
I don't want to ever leave her. Um, oh. And one of the cool features on this, so instead of just having bare metal, we wrap it in this fabric right here. And because we use the Max Air Fan, it comes with remotes, so we don't even have to get up to turn the fans on. Oh, amazing! That's <laughs> right. And so we just remote. put a little piece of. Oh, so velcro this entire this whole thing is a Velcro, pretty yep. much. Yeah. It's a Velcro. Otherwise, it'd just be white. Uh, right. Metal. Thanks for the idea. I want to take that for my next fan. Yeah. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's part of the details that our build crew is that really just take into account. Like speaker carpet. <clears throat> yeah. 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 And I, I always get the question, power system. What do you guys have for power? So we can make the bed back into a table and we'll show you the whole electric system. There we go. So our electrical system in here, it's under this bench. What we have, and, and we're gonna cover this at some point because you don't want your wires exposed in case you throw anything in there but we have a 2000 watt inverter, and then we have three Battleborn 100 watt lithium batteries run in parallel. And how, what's the wattage on the roof for solar panels? Just 200 right now. We. You have plenty of room to add more. Yeah, we're gonna add more. Yeah, you have plenty of room. We we wanted to go on vacation faster than the team could build. <laughs> so, <laughs> so some of it we still have to work on. And we had the 200 up there. We're gonna actually switch it out for 275 watt panels. So we'll have 350. Oh, cool. Up there, nice. which is more than enough, especially because when we drive, it charges the batteries as well. It's hooked up right. to the alternator, so. Yeah, you got that ACR thing, right? Yep. Yeah. Like, by the way, everybody should have one if they're going to do a van build. For sure. It's one of those much needed things. Great system, guys. So clean. And that right there, because this was a passenger van, is air conditioning. Where? Oh, this big thing? Yeah. So that, that, your air conditioning runs when the van is running? Yeah, it will. Um, if, so we don't use it right now, but if we ever did want to use it, we can actually run it up here and have a vent right here. Oh, okay. So it'll just vent out. But you guys don't run it right now. No. Oh, okay. But you can, we the can. capability. Guys, uh, I had a blast with the ladies' van today. Uh, you have a, uh, you have something in the works right now. Yes, the that Van is Life app. The Van Life app. Uh, please go and check it out. Go and to the Van Life app, I believe it's on Instagram. Yes. Uh, and you can actually sign up for notifications on when things are gonna be happening. So you definitely wanna check that out, right? Yes, it's coming out this year. Will be pretty soon in the next couple months here. May or June, I think is projected. Maybe April. <laughs> Maybe April. We have great birthday <laughs> presents to me because my birthday's in April. Me too. Oh, when's your birthday? 14. 26. Dang. Aries, Taurus. <laughs> um, uh, so one. guys, check out the Van Life app. Check out the ladies' van. They have a huge following on Instagram. Yeah. They actually have to run. I'm going to go with them right now. They're going to go. Are you guys putting new shoes on the? On the yes. Yeah. They're putting new wheels. New wheels on here. <laughs> You're all, like the all, all terrain. terrain. All terrain? All right, guys. That's it. Hey, uh, please like and subscribe. I don't know. All that good jazz. I'm done. Here we go. <laughs> Bye, ladies. Bye.